The Residence for Young Ladies was an institution that helped women to study at all the available levels of education permitted them by law after 1910. Created in 1915, the residence provided a home for women from all over Spain so that they could take courses or prepare for university entrance. Women as renowned as Victoria Kent, Josefina Carabias, Maria Goiri, Maria Lejaraga, Deli Tejero and Maruja Mayo all passed through its doors. The residence was directed by the teacher and advocate of women's suffrage, Maria de Maistu, and offered foreign language classes, general education classes, specific subjects, a library, concerts, excursions, sports and lectures, some in conjunction with the Lyceum Club. Notable among the services it provided was a chemistry laboratory, created in close collaboration with American educational institutions, such as the International Institute for Girls in Spain which fostered the exchange of students and teachers between the two countries. One of these teachers was Mary Louise Foster, who held a doctorate in chemistry and founded and directed the first laboratory devoted exclusively to training women in Spain. In the academic year 1921-22, the laboratory attracted 43 female students aged around 19 who were keen to perfect their knowledge of chemistry and pharmacy, the two most popular scientific professions for Spanish women at the time. One of the women who received their education there was Dorotea Barnes González, one of Spain's pioneering scientists. Dorotea Barnes held a doctorate in chemistry and following a trip to the United States, she brought Raman spectroscopy to Spain, which was crucial in determining the structure of the atom. Others included Felisa Martín Bravo, a Spanish meteorologist and the first woman in Spain to hold a doctorate in physics, and Pilar de Madariaga Rojo, a chemist who lived in exile during the Spanish Civil War and became a language teacher in the United States. The outbreak of the Spanish Civil War marked the demise of the residence for young ladies, subsequently transformed under the influence of nationalist Catholic ideals. Women educated there later were steered well away from science, or the possibility of practicing their professions, something that Dorotea Barnes herself summarized forcefully in her biography when she explained, It was my husband who dragged me away from science. <laughs>